The figure shows a flying kite. At a certain moment, the kite string forms an angle of elevation of 75 degrees from point A on the ground. At the same moment, the angle of elevation of the kite at point B, 240 feet from A on level ground, is 45 degrees. What is the length of the string? We can approach this problem in two ways. One is using the sign rule. And the other is using the formula for special right triangles. When we are given one side in any two angles, the law of sines is a useful formula to find other sides. In triangle ABC, angle ACB is 60 degrees. And we are given the length of one side. So we can find the length of AC by applying the sine rule. The sine rule can be explained using the expression. A over sine of A is equal to B over sine of B is equal to C over sine of C. So 240 over sine of 60 degrees is equal to AC over sine of 45 degrees. Since sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. And sine of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2. Substituting the value of sine of 60 degrees and sine of 45 degrees, we get 80 square root of 6. Now let's solve this problem using the special right triangles. Let D be the foot of the perpendicular line from A to BC. Triangle ADB is a 45-45-90 triangle. We can find the length of AD using the 45-45-90 right triangle sides formula. The side lengths of this triangle are in the ratio of 1 to 1 to the square root of 2. So 1 to the square root of 2 is equal to AD to 240. Which is 120 square root of 2. Triangle ACD is a 30-60-90 triangle. The sides of a 30-60-90 triangle are always in the ratio of 1 to the square root of 3 to 2. So the square root of 3 to 2 is equal to 120 square root of 2 to AC. Therefore the length of the string is 80 square root of 6.